everybody welcome back to my channel I will um, in my last couple of videos I was talking about this amazing paper cutter it's a guillotine cutter that I got see that handle right I was able to get this for $20 long story short I went to buy a second refrigerator for some from somebody and he had this laying on the floor and I go is that a paper cutter he's like yeah and I'm like can I look at it he's like yeah I go how much you want for it? he's like 20 bucks I go really I didn't notice at the time because I really didn't know how it worked I thought that this cut the paper this handle right I knew that this was a guide right and there was this short handle right here it went to about here and I'm like all right I get it home and we tried to cut, and I couldn't cut more than like five pieces of paper. So we realized we needed this really long pull to give you leverage to cut. Because the, it, it said it could cut up like 250 pages. I'm like, okay. So this is the best part. Hold on. So you, let me push that back up. Close that. Hold on. It's hard to do with two hands. You know what? Hold on. Okay, sorry. So you press this lever down, and then this handle goes so smoothly. But I didn't have the handle. So I said to TJ, and if you've been with me for a while, you know TJ's my oldest son. He's a welder. I said, T, this is what my situation is. Okay, came back and forth twice to get the right diameter of the post that was here to fit this cylinder, this tube, right? And then he made it with these lock nuts. I don't know what they're actually called, but you screw them in and you could screw them out and they could pull the handle out. Once he put this handle on for me, oh my God, you gotta see what I can cut. <sighs> okay, so let's take some paper. Um, there's probably, I don't know, 30, 40 pages right here, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put you down right here. All right. I am going to get these pages lined up and I'm going to take just a binder clip and I'm going to keep them straight because I think that I'm going to take these pages and use them for a craft, right? So I am binder clipping them right there. And then I think I'm going to make a long pad. I'm going to make a pad, right? So what I'm going to do is you take this handle that's right here and watch. This opens up. See how that opens? I know this is a long video, right? Okay. That opens up. And then I slide my paper in. And I, I don't know. This way I get two pads out of it, right? We get two long pads out of it. I can get four small pads out of it. Let's see. So now I want to clamp the paper, right? Clamp the paper. I'm going to just un unlock that because that's a locking mechanism. That's right there. That's what does it. Now, my paper's on this side. I am going to put the smallest amount of pressure on this handle, right? Watch. Did you see that? Look at that. And it just cut perfectly. Now, I did find this. This has no make and model on it. So, um... I did find one on YouTube, oh, not YouTube, on um, Amazon. I'm going to show you which one I think it is because this is a huge cutting area. It goes up to 17, actually it would be 18 inches, and then it would go down to, I forget what this was, 12 is there, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. This is a pretty big cutting area, but this was my most amazing find um, this winter. 
yeah, I got to use it a couple times. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these in half. You want to watch? Let's see if I can cut them in half again with you. Hold on. All right, so what I did was I placed it at the five and a half mark because this was 11 inches, right? And now I tightened it so that my papers are clamped down really hard. And then really gently, once again, look at that. How stinking cool is this? So I'm going to make two little quick notepads and I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so we're back to this view. I just want to show you, look at how thin I was able to cut and how fun is that, right? Okay, so I get to throw that away. So these are the papers that I was doing my test cuts with and I decided we'll make pads out of them. So I have my glue gun starting. Um, these all have chipboard backing. This one does not. I thought this would be fun to just, this was like a test test, but you know what? Why not just leave it on my desk? We always need some extra, um, no paper, right? Now, when I was little, they used to do this with, um, cement glue. Do you remember that? And they used to say, don't breathe that in, don't smell that. All right, so with the project that I finished, um, after we cut all those papers on the new cutter, the guillotine cutter, I decided to just make some fun pads. This, like I said, this was scrap paper and it was all the test run, but why waste? So, I mean, they're just plain simple pads. This was a, um, a stand, um, sticker from the Dollar Tree. This is a vintage sticker from the Dollar Tree. This is just that paper that I used this weekend um, from uh, Paper Phenomenon. Now this here is some old paper that I had laying around from um, Stamping Up, right? This is paper I've been working with for uh, Disney projects. Isn't this pretty? And this is double-sided. And this, I broke out my um, punch, right? I broke out my punch, punched out a couple of different colors, added some bling in the middle, and then I grabbed some more Dollar Tree stickers. No drama llama, right? I added a little bling at the bottom. And this is an itsy bitsy one. And you know what? It just sits here on my desk. So these are the little projects that I made with the paper that I used to test the cutter. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you like this cutter. Um, I know that I do. I actually like it a lot. I love the fact that it cuts my chipboard. And that's it. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And I will see you all real soon. Bye. <laughs>